All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Life of Shark video. So in today's vlog, guys, I have seen so many comments of you guys asking for me to do a lie detector test and spill the tea with some situations that have uh, that have happened over the years of doing YouTube. So today I decided to wire myself up, put myself in front of the camera and decide, okay, I'm gonna answer all the questions that you guys had to ask. So of course, before I get myself wired up here and start answering your questions, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. We actually blew past 400,000 subs and we're climbing up to 500k right now. So make sure you subscribe right now. It helps me out. Plus you get to enjoy some really awesome videos from yours truly. So, you know, just, just go ahead and subscribe. All right. Now with that being said, guys, let's head on over and let's do the lie detector test. Whoa. This is so professional, dude. What the heck? All right, hey, what's up, guys? My name is Shark. You guys may know me for my Minecraft videos that I create on YouTube, or uh, better well known as Zero Nine Shark Boy. I've been making YouTube videos for over 11 years now, and I've been invited here to take a lie detector test to see if I'm a truthful or lying person. This is a hefty duty lie detector. Like this is this is not something I would want to mess with. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, so I just pretty much, I put my finger inside of here and I hit start, right? Okay. Okay, question number one. Uh, have you ever clickbaited? Yes, I have clickbaited. I think every YouTuber has clickbaited before. I'm telling the truth, so I don't know why I should be worried about this. Um, I've clickbaited before 100%. See, it, it didn't, it didn't land on me. See, I'm telling the truth. Okay, question number two is, have you betrayed a close friend before? Uh, I mean, I, okay, I like, no, no, I haven't betrayed a close friend. Now, the only way I would ever betray a friend is if it was something super small, like a joke, like lie to them as, for a joke reason. Yeah, I, I've done that, but would I ever backstab them and essentially be a snake? No, I haven't. I have not been, I have not done that. Oh gosh, dude, I freaking hate this thing, man. It's so scary. I shouldn't have to be worried because I know that I haven't before. Man, <laughs> thank goodness, dude, that is so scary. I feel like every time I do this, it's gonna zap me, but it's not, because I'm obviously telling the truth, right? All right, question number three. Who is your best friend between unspeakable and moose? I see this question all the time. Okay, if I'm being honest, I if I had, I can't pick one of them specifically because they are both great people. So I'm gonna have to say 50-50. They're both my best friends. I would I would do anything for either of them, and that's and that's a fact. And lie detector, you can be the one to prove me if I'm right or wrong. I know I'm right though, I'm just being honest. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Oh, dude, that literally scared me so much. <laughs> All right, so we've made it to question number four, which that means we're going to go ahead and turn up the lie detector to uh, a higher setting so we get some more zaps. Thankfully, I haven't been zapped yet. Ooh. All right, there we go. This one is weird. <laughs> Why would somebody ask this? Have you accidentally farted in public and said it wasn't you? Okay, listen, I think this is something that every single human on earth, this is something I truly believe that every single human on earth has done at least once in their life, okay? Situations can become awkward. If you're stuck in an elevator, it's awkward. Let's be honest. Yes, I've done it. I've ripped some really bad farts and I've said it wasn't me. In reality, it was me. I just didn't want to get embarrassed. I shouldn't even be worried this time around because I know I have farted in public before, but the fact that it's a... Thank goodness, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna turn the lie detector up to a higher setting again. What am I right now? I, I'm, I'm four for four. I haven't lied once yet. I'm four for four. We have 10 questions here. Question number five, have you ever stolen? Ooh, that is a uh, very broad and uh, very right there question. Have you ever stolen? Now that could mean a super small thing. That can mean a super big thing. Have you stolen 
a french fry? Have you stolen a bank vault? I have not stolen. Uh, people that know me in real life, I, uh, I believe in karma a lot, so I feel like if I were to steal, something would be stolen from me, and probably twice as much as what it would. I don't know, I just believe in karma. I feel like if I stole something, something would get stolen from me twice as much, so it would hurt twice as much for me. It's, I'd rather spend the money, support the business I'm buying it from, or whatever it is I'm buying, and do it the right way. So no, I have never stolen in my life. This looks awkward now, doesn't it? Wow, <laughs> this, this looks awkward. I haven't stolen, okay? I'm serious, I have never stolen. Oh gosh, five, four for five now. <laughs> Question number six, have you ever lied for your own benefit? Ooh. So I think this would mean like, have you ever lied to somebody in order to benefit? Like for example, no, I didn't drink the last Coca-Cola in the fridge, may I have a Sprite? Meaning, yes, I did drink the last Coca-Cola and I want another Sprite. Uh, for small, for something small and silly like that, yeah, probably, I probably have. But for something big, no, no, I haven't lied for my own benefit. That is uh, quite the uh, sociopath thing to do, I think. <laughs> Let's see what the lie detector says. Man, I really don't like this music. I feel like Jaws is gonna come over here and like literally bite me from beneath the table. What? Ow! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, that's, our winning streak is now coming to a close here. We are now, what? Four for six? Oh gosh. No, wait, we're four for seven. I think we're four for seven. Question number seven. Have you ever cheated in a Minecraft video? Okay, so that's a pretty broad topic. Uh, in fact, I actually used to be known for the guy that always cheated in their Minecraft videos back with the boys. I'd always hop into creative mode, you know, do a little thing and you know, I, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, I've cheated in a Minecraft video. I feel like the video is five times better when you cheat because when you don't cheat, you gotta do it legit. And legit's fun sometimes, but I, yes, I, <laughs> I have cheated in Minecraft before. Go ahead, just zap me. There's no point for the music. There's no need for the suspense. Just go ahead and zap me and get this done with. <laughs> why? Okay, I'm done with this hat, okay? Jeez. Oh my gosh, okay, why? This is so much pressure, oh my gosh. This is so much pressure, it's actually scary. <laughs> Question number eight. This one is a little bit of a softer question. Uh, do you actually like lava cakes? Uh, yes, I do like lava cakes. Uh, do I eat them every day like I said I did in, in my videos? No, I don't. If I did, I would be dead by now. I used to eat lava cakes all the time, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's how I gained all my weight. I have not had a lava cake uh, specifically from Domino's in at least two and a half years. It has been a very, very long time. Do I miss them? Yes. Will I eat another one? Yes. Today? No. I'm not having a lava cake today. But do I actually like lava cakes? Yeah, of course I do. Who doesn't love a good lava cake with your boys, right? You gotta be crazy. Oh my gosh. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you. What is that? Five for eight? Five for eight? Oh man, I really fell behind. Question number nine, were you hurt by the unspeakable diss track? So for those that don't know about this one, uh, we had a unspeakable moose and myself had a little diss track war uh, two years ago or so. And Nathan actually went ahead and made a full blown diss track on me called Shark Attack. Now I gotta give him credit. It was a good diss track. Um, was I hurt by it? No. I. I I don't think so. Was he spitting facts and bars? <laughs> yeah, I gotta give him credit. Was I hurt by it? No. Why wasn't I hurt by it? Honestly, I feel like I could really cook something up 20 times better than what Nathan did. If you think I should respond to him, let me know by leaving a like on this video. I'm watching you, Nathan. Seriously though, no, I wasn't hurt by the rap. I think it was all in good fun. My ego is about to pop right when this goes off. <laughs> Oh gosh, just get it done with. Oh, I did it. 
Thank goodness. Okay. All right, so we have made it to the last two questions. We're gonna go ahead and bump the lie detector up to the maximum level for the maximum zapping ability and to really make me scream when this zaps me. All right, there we go. All right, so this is the final question I've got here. Have you ever cheated on a test and it backfired on you? Easy. 100% not. Never. I was a great student. I would never cheat on a test. Never. That's what bad is. Of course I've cheated on a test. Okay. <laughs> Am I done with this now? Can I disconnect? Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you for having me. Okay, thank you. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching me take a lie detector test here today. If you would like to see me uh, bump this up a notch and do another lie detector video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys uh, later this week in a brand new vlog. Shark, ouch. I can't, I can't go that low. I, I gotta, I gotta walk out of frame, okay? I, I just, yeah, okay, bye.